definitely going to have one female archer in the games in Tokyo uh, in what, just a little under 50 days time. So we've uh, kept things fairly simple here in terms of Olympic qualification. Uh, first quarterfinal won by Elia Canales um, takes a spot for Spain. Second one won by Lisa Barbalan taking a spot for France. And the third quarterfinal was between two Turkish archers. And so Turkey have booked a spot. Let's find out who is going to get the fourth spot as we see Di Velasco of Spain going up against Nurm Salu of Estonia. On target number one, representing Spain, Ines de Velasco. On target number two, representing Estonia. Laura Nurmsalu. The line judge for this match is Christina Tiflidou. Well, big match up here again. It is Ines de la Vasco, uh, who is 19 years old in the world, at number 49, climbing up the rankings uh, at the moment. And she's from Spain against the Estonian world number 85, Laura Numsalu, who is 27 years old. Spain have already booked a place in Tokyo through Canales winning the first quarterfinal. Should this young lady here, Ines de Velasco, win, we will have a count back situation here, looking for the best of the losing quarter finalists. Di Velasco starting with a nine. I've got to admit, I've not seen Numsalu shooting before, but she looks very solid and very steady. Yeah, one of the older competitors in this final eight here, 27 years old, so be interesting to see experience or youth. Nine. Making a slight adjustment. A little bit to the left. Tightest start of all the four quarterfinals here as well. Oh wow, very important here. Can them salute match or better? A nine. Dropped it into the eight. So first set points go to Di Velasco. Can you see any... Has anyone got a little advantage here, would you guess? I mean, they both look fairly calm, don't they? Fairly confident. So it's going to be interesting to see. Fairly tight on that first set. So... Like we said, the conditions can change. We're going to keep looking at those flags, see what's happening with the wind. They're both making slight adjustments there as we went through that first set. What about pressure here in terms of uh, Ines de Velasco? On the one hand, Spain have already qualified the place through the uh, Canales' win. On the other hand, if D D Velasco wants to have a chance of going to the Olympic Games, maybe the Spanish Federation have also already said it's whoever does better in this yeah, tournament. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah, Spain have definitely got a place, but the whose place that is is still up for grabs. So, you know, she wants to do really well. She wants to come through and go on to win the tournament to make sure that space is hers. So it is really crucial for her too. Critical moments here still on this Olympic qualification day. Estonia's Laura Nomsalu trailing by two set points will shoot first in set number two.
Really long hold, you can hear the coach counting her down. Only got 20 seconds to shoot the arrow. A quick arrow response, so she's not going to have a lot of time to recover. I mean, I talk about recovery and people may think that's silly, but these archers are probably pulling 40, 45 pounds on their fingers. You know, it's a very much a skill sport, so making sure you've got you know, good fresh blood in your arms and you've got that good feeling and sensation is really key. Yeah, you can see her arm shaking there, but gets a line. When you add to that, Nikki, the pressure of this competition as well, you know, and the addition of this extra day of competing for the recurve archers, and not like any other tournament, this qualifier. Well, she pulled that over to the left, but even if Namsalu second arrow gets marked up, that is enough for Di Velasco to take the points in this set. That's right, yeah, it's a clear enough margin there, so I think we're going to be 4 0 up for Spain. Yep, big opportunity now for Di Velasco to see this out in three more arrows. In the third set, you can do this in three sets if you win all three. Absolutely critical, though, that Laura gets points on the board because, you know, if, we, if Spain do win this spot, we're definitely going to go to count back. She's got to get some points on the board, otherwise she's going to have no chance here at all. No one else has lost with zero on the board, so she's got to win some set points to have a chance even in that count back to still take a place. Yeah, you're right. And, um, looking at things here, unless she can, well, if she can get back into the match and can get some points, it is going to be a straight uh, shoot down between or, 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 or the count back between her and Barankova. Yeah, that's right. And Barankova's only got two set points. So, you know, it's critical what, what happens here. You know, she's got to get on the board. Can she get two? Can she get four? Um, or, you know, are we going to go down to either further me measures, which I think is perhaps raw score? Yeah, very interesting moments here. Even if she loses this set, getting some set points is critical for Nurm Salu. The chance of an of Olympic qualification is there. Do you, how much do you think she knows that? Oh, massively. You know, she's in this quarter tournament knowing she's fighting for that spot. You know, you, you've got to try and stay in the present, but you, you can't think of anything else. The wind really hitting the Spanish archer here, holding all the way through it. Didn't look happy. Opportunity abounds here for Laura and Salo. Two set points will ma start making a bit of a difference here. Just what the doctor ordered. Hear the coach talking her through the shot all the way. Now counting her down. Well, Tim puts this out of reach and will give Nam Salu some points on the board a nine. nine can be matched by Di Velasco with a ten but Numsala will definitely be in this match in the next set she's going to keep it going is she going to get the two points that she craves she is indeed a 26 place 27 and there we have great fight back from Nurm Salo. Just what she needed. Absolutely, you know, she had to get back into this match. We've talked about how critical it is, even if she loses, she's got to get points on the board because Spain going through two archers into the last four means we're going to go to count back. So, you know, she's, the more points she can get here, the better chance she has of making it. I mean, she still could win the match from here. Anything can happen. That's the beauty of the set system. She could go all the way and make it into the final four herself. 
She certainly could. She's got herself on the board here. Twenty-six. That she has got first her first two set points, trailing still by two set points to Ines Di Velasco. So it will be Laura Numsalu to shoot first in set number four. She was looking for. Another long hold. You could just see the arrow on the end of the clicker as she was holding there. Coach counting her down, letting her know how much time left. Only 20 seconds to shoot. I think it hit the first arrow as well. Yeah, she needs to bring those in. The tip of the arrow on that clicker. Much better. Into the X. Wow, that's gone way out to the left and I think that will be all over for Nurm Salo, a five required for the win here. And it's another 10, a solid finish from uh, Ines Di Velasco, another 27 for her, uh, but uh, just about 21 for Laura Nurm Salo, losing the match uh, six set points to two. Uh, I should say, Ines Di Velasco winning it six point set points to two against Laura Nurm Salo. And that means that we have two Spaniards into the semi finals here. Uh, very, very interesting uh, setup now uh, because each country can only win one quota spot. We've already seen uh, Canales go through in quarterfinal number one. So even though no, uh, even though Di Velasco is through, she's not going to get an extra place for the Spanish team. And we will go back to the count back. Knowing that we've already got a French and a Turkish archer in, it means it comes down to Denisa Barankova and uh, Laura Namsalo. And my very basic mental arithmetic tells me um, that it's looking likely that the Slovakian has edged this on the count back. Yeah, I believe we're going to go to raw score, so we'll you know, just have to double check and look into that to see who's going to take that place. But it's really important for um, the French, sorry, the Spanish archer there because, you know, did you see she was happy, obviously, but we didn't see the wild emotion that we've seen from others because she did exactly what she needed to do. She's won a match, but she's got to maintain her composure now because she's got to go through this tournament and still be better than her... Uh, compatriot so that's really really important so it's going to be really interesting to see which of these two Spanish archers can go furthest this may well or may not be the selection for yeah, that yeah space. we just don't know but do we it's, <laughs> it's so it's so curious for us even because we don't know what the Spaniards have chosen but they what we do know is that they've got two into the semi-finals of this Olympic qualification tournament which uh, you know in a strange way will continue now even though we actually know uh, the quota places are are, are are there for Spain, for France and for Turkey with straight wins in the quarterfinal. We think uh, on count back it is going to be Denisa Barankova who's picked up a spot for Slovakia and I think the 19-year-old is almost certain to be going. <laughs> 